It is real, 2017. The alien autopsy. The haunted car of Bellevue. The beast of Okanagan. The gargoyle of Robinswood Park. UFOs over Monroe. The shroud of Burien. The spam cult of Maltby. The haunting of Montlake. The ghost of Colonel Isaac Eby. Spontaneous human combustion. The serpent of Phantom Lake. The seance of Lake Forest Park. Twenty years ago, these Northwest mysteries were investigated and proven to be real. It Is Real 2017 has returned. Join the It Is Real 2017 investigative team as they swing back into action armed with the latest in cutting edge technology, ready to reveal shocking secrets and uncover even more unbelievable mysteries. Hold on for an unbelievably wild ride. Hello everybody, my name is Ron. And my name is Bill. And I'd like to welcome you to our second show of It Is Real 2017. It's a good one. Yeah, tonight we have a great show for you. It's titled The Pug Dogman of Prosser County. We have exclusive footage tonight. Now this is a show about an, an actual person that um, has been in hiding for the last 20 to 30 years. and he's, time. he's just recently resurfaced. And we have an exclusive interview with him and we also have exclusive footage. And uh, we, before we go into any more detail, we'd like to thank you, first of all, for viewing our show and for being a, uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel. And throughout the show tonight, you're going to see uh, the way you can subscribe to our channel and the way you can uh, get alerts for our show. We better and give out our number, Ron. Go ahead. Give out our number, Bill. It, it's 605-475-6967. That's 605-475-6967. Start calling now. We'll be taking your calls. And let the phone ring, and we will we will answer the phone. Now, we, we have our director, Leif Neiman, and uh, he's going to go ahead and play our first clip, which is the actual biography of uh, Pug Dogman of Prosser. And so without any further ado, we would like to go ahead and play that clip. So go ahead, Leif. Go ahead, Leif. Let it roll. The story of Pug Dogman. Clyde Trenbeth was born in Prosser, Washington to a poor farming couple in the year 1967. From the moment he entered the world, he resembled what many consider a bulldog, hence his nickname, Pug Dogman. His strange appearance was never diagnosed by the medical community, but speculation had it, it was the result of his being conceived and born directly downwind of the Hanford Nuclear Test and Research Facilities in Washington State. Pug Dogman had a fairly sheltered and uneventful childhood. Living in a small community, his activities were limited to a rather localized small protective circle of family and caring townsfolk. He was homeschooled through middle school, but attended Prosser High School for three years graduating with an incredible 3.5 grade point average. He kept a very low profile while attending school, appearing in no yearbook photos and at virtually no social functions. He did serve as the water boy for the Prosser High School girls volleyball team for one semester and did actually attend one high school dance, although rumor has it he never danced at that function. After graduating from high school, Pug Dogman did travel to Europe for an extended stay with his parents on the one and only known vacation of his life. His parents disguised his appearance as a burn victim in order to successfully complete this adventure. Upon his return to his home in Prosser years later, things were never the same again. His community seemed to have forgotten who he was or that he had ever existed at all. Most of the people that he called his friends had either moved away or had died. Everyone else denied his existence. His parents started receiving calls from research laboratories requesting that Pug Dogman be handed over for the purpose of scientific experimentation. After being shunned and pursued, he went into hiding. No one knows where Pug Dogman has been for all these years possibly traveling under an alias or under disguise. Just recently, over the past two years, 
he has resurfaced. Many people outside of the area where he used to live had never heard of him or forgotten about him. Now that he has resurfaced, he lives in constant fear that researchers might try to capture him for experimentation or that he will be hounded as a freak of nature. The sightings of Pagdogman are increasing and spreading. Tonight we, the It Is Real 2017 investigative team, bring you the incredible story of the Pug Dogman of Prosser, Washington. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, that was a great clip. Uh, Leif Nima, our producer, put that together. I want to let you know that the Pug Dog Man saw our show from 20 years ago, and that's why he trusted us, and uh, he approached us. He trusted us enough to, to, to seek us out and to ask us if we could help him to kind of see if he could integrate back into society once again. He wanted to come out. He wanted to come out, yep. and he, he, wanted to, uh, he wanted to see if he could come out without being hunted down and, yes. and, and, and looked at like a, like a freak. Yeah, the research companies have been after him for a long time. Okay, now it looks like looks like mm. we have a couple phone calls oh, we coming do. We're in. We're going to take some calls. Well, so let's okay. see if we can take the first call here. Here, it looks right. like this our our board exciting. is lighting up here. Let's see yeah. what happens. Go ahead. Go caller. ahead, caller. Who's calling? Go ahead. You guys are a couple of motherfuckers. <laughs> Whoa! You can't do that. You can't say that kind of stuff on TV. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to say what I want to say. You, it's not. No, a, you not, can't. You can't talk. Of, I'd, I'd like to come out there and just. Slap you. Well, you we'd would, like would you? Studio. Well, we'd you like would. to. You can't Come do on. that. You can't talk you this way. Doing Come a on. Disservice to Pug Dog Man. Come down I don't here. think we are. We're trying to help him. You are a bunch of. Hey. You can't quit talking Suckers. that way. Quit that's talking horrible. that way. What the yeah, that's are you enough. Doing you, on this show? That's enough. You can't buddy. call and. Goodbye. No, that's enough. That you oh, we should have hung up on him. You cannot call yeah. our show and talk like that. No. It's a good thing that we have. A 20-second delay on our five calls. Five seconds, actually. Oh, it's only five seconds? Five seconds. Well, we have, enough, we have enough time to yeah. make sure that language like that is not yeah, used on the air. Yeah, we out. Yeah, sorry about that, everybody. But we have no idea why he was so upset, because we're, we're not trying to hurt uh, Clyde no, no, at no, all. No way, shape, form. We're, we're trying to help him get back yeah. into society. Yeah. So it looks like we have another call. Oh, another one. Let's go ahead. And, Here we go. Let's go ahead. Hey, go ahead, caller. What's your name? Hello. Hi, my name is Cindy Lou, and I'm from Prosser, Washington. Oh, hi, Cindy. Well, hi, Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou, how you doing? Well, I just want to let you know I used to date Pug Dog oh, Man. Oh, that's interesting. He was quite the stud back in oh, the day. Oh, I bet he was. Oh, well, you dated yeah. him? I'd like to hear. Yeah, well, I didn't want to have any children with him, but thanks oh. for asking. Well, well, I'd like to know a little more detail about yeah, how. Yeah, he was very gentle, very gentle man. I bet he was. Well, how, how did you guys uh, actually? Uh, I'm not going to talk about that. What? Well, we, we'd like to hear more detail about yeah. that part if you'd like to let I us. Used, I used birth control. Well, uh, what kind good. of birth control did you use with uh, Pug Dog? Uh, I'm not going to answer that question. That's oh. too personal. <laughs> oh, no. Well, if you're going to call us and tell us this. I'm just going to use a sweet, sweet man I bet. Pug Dog. That's the impression Well, we that's got. good to hear that yeah. he's a sweet okay, man. I just want to let you know, and I'll be uh, you know, just saying that I, I'm a favor of the Pug Dog man. He's a, a, I'm a real fan of his. Okay. Okay, well, Great, thanks thank for calling, you. Cindy Lou. Uh, yeah. Well, we actually have somebody there that oh. that actually oh, yeah. dated Clyde. Yeah, yeah he, he was uh, integrated into the society there pretty good when he's younger. And I get a feeling that he was a, a, a gentleman. As you saw in his bio, you, 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 Bill, you get yeah. an idea uh, that he was a gentleman, that really he got along with a lot of different people, especially, you know, yeah. the girls' volleyball oh, team. Oh, the girls first really of all. liked him, yeah. He, he had a good time with the girls' volleyball team yeah. and, and uh, in Prosser. Prosser was such a small community that yeah, um, everybody knew him. Everybody knew him there. Yeah. Now, we do have a. Oh, Ron. We, we, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think we've, we've got a new sponsor, don't we? We do have a new yeah. sponsor. Would you like to tell the audience the name of our new sponsor? No, I would not. Okay. Well, we have a new sponsor. It's not the same sponsor it's we had on our first show, but what we'd like to do now is, is play our, our, our commercial. Yes. And you're going to really be uh, fascinated by our new product that we're offering today. And for so go ahead, go ahead, Leaf. Uh, let let our let the commercial let's hear a roll word from our sponsor. And let's a here's a word from our sponsor. Enjoy it. Sparkle butt glitter kit for men. Men, have we got something for you? Hoo 
Yes, men, you too can look like this. And this. And yes, even this. It's that easy. Our Sparkle Butt Glitter Kit for Men includes a six color glitter assortment. Two ounces each of blue, silver, red, gold, green, and white. A 16 ounce easy apply bottle of our special aloe vera gel base formula. An assortment of applicators for easy application. All of this for only $19.99 plus shipping and handling. But wait! Order now and we will include a second bottle of our special aloe vera gel, a 16 ounce easy apply bottle at no additional cost to you, except of course for shipping and handling charges. Call us now at 605-475-6967 to take advantage of this amazing offer. Don't get left behind in the butt glitter craze for men. Just add a dusting of our sparkle glitter to your cheeks using our special aloe vera gel while wearing your favorite pants, swimsuit, or nothing at all, and you're good to go. And if you're into the idea of accessorizing other intimate parts of your body, such as your nads, roots, and eyes, the sparkle glitter has you covered there too. You can use your imagination, men, and use the glitter anywhere you want. Pack on the glitter using the provided applicators to provide the liberal amounts of glitter. When you're ready to wash off at the end of your day, cleanup is ever so easy with a simple shower, leaving your skin soft and refreshed from the soothing effects of our special aloe vera gel. It's that easy. Remember men, our Sparkle Butt Glitter Kit includes a six color glitter assortment, two ounces each of blue, silver, red, gold, green, and white. A 16 ounce easy apply bottle of our special aloe vera gel based formula. An assortment of applicators for easy application. And remember all of this is only $19.99 plus shipping and handling. But wait, if you order now, within the next 15 minutes, we will include a second bottle of our special aloe vera gel, a 16 ounce easy apply bottle at no additional charge except shipping and handling. Remember, apply the glitter with a smooth, manly stroke. You must be very careful to avoid any orifice or any kind of sore because the glitter can cause irritation. Now call us now at 605-475-6967 to take advantage of this amazing offer. Don't get left behind in the butt glitter craze for men. It's that easy. Our Sparkle Butt Glitter Cut for Men includes the following six glitter color assortment, two ounces each of the colors. Call us now, men. Call us. Do not get left behind in the butt glitter craze for men. Call us now. Do not get left behind. Yes, men, you too can look like this. Do not forget that. You can look like this, and you can also look like this. Call us now. Do not get left behind. Sparkle, butt glitter kit for men. Call us now. Ooh, doggies, what a product that is. Me and Ron, we try everything that we, yep. we sponsor, or that, that sponsor, sponsor us. And we're both got our glitter on tonight. Yeah, we're 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 wearing glitter full full bore on right now. We're wearing the the butt sparkle glitter for men. Oh, we're into the craze. And uh, let me let me tell you this: it's a good yeah. product. We're not just we're not just saying that. It's uh, it's healthy too because of, oh, very healthy uh, because yeah. of what we use to to apply it with it, yeah. the gel, the, the aloe, aloe vera gel. gel. Is very healthy. So it, we, it's yeah. highly recommended. Yep. We just want to let you know that. Yeah. Now. Well, we, we got some more calls coming well, in. Let's give the number out again, too. 605-475-6967. Keep those calls coming. And you're going to see that call up here yep. uh, from time to time during the show, that number. You're going to see that number up here. Plus, you're also going to see our uh, our website address for, yes. for YouTube and how to how to uh, Be sure to subscribe. subscribe to it and how to set yourself up for alerts. Alert. Every time a new item gets up there, we do put up bonus material. So as, when you're subscribed, you'll get a few extras. We'll throw in every once in a while. Absolutely. And now, yeah. now while while we are taking these calls, which they're oh, coming yeah. in still, they come. we're, we're going to actually show you a, a video that we shot of, of Clyde yes. Trenbeth Pug Dogman in the wild, taken in the wild, where in he's wild. trying to avoid being filmed. Right. So you're going to see this playing on the screen in the studio. So while we're taking these calls, and uh, it's a short video. So, uh, but you're going to see it play. So oh, we got a call coming oh, in now. So here comes another let's one. Let's go ahead and take a call. Okay, exciting. 
Okay, caller, uh, what's your name? My name is Joe, and I'm from Prosser, Hi, Joe. Washington. Oh, wow. Hi, Joe. Prosser. How are you doing? I'd like to know about the buck litter. It, oh. it looks like a really good product. Oh, it is. It is. It's very good. We, we have it on right now. Have you, are you going to go Would you like it? some? You convinced me. I think I'm going to buy it now. Great. Well, We'd that's like good. That's, that. that's, that's what we want to hear. Our sponsors want to hear it. is, uh, I live in Prosser, and I've never seen this hot dog man, and I went to the high school about that time. Well, he hasn't been around for a number of years, so well, he had to be pretty yeah. good at hiding. Well, he was. Well, you, weren't, very good. you weren't looking in the right place, but more than likely. I, I can't. I can't believe it. I think you guys are faking it. No, no we're no. not faking no, it. No, Absolutely it not. He's real. Show. That's our okay. show. Okay. Come on. Okay. Well, thanks for calling. We uh, appreciate it. Well, he's uh, a quick he's call. a he's a non-believer, but a bit of a skeptic. You're going to have people out there like that, but yeah. we have the we have the proof. We have the oh, we we go out and get it. We have the video yeah. proof. We have the photographic proof. And we have the the, yes. the, the, ta the school proof that he was yeah. there. Oh, yeah. You saw the pictures. So there's no doubt that, that Clyde Trenbeth went to Prosser High and lived yeah. in Prosser. Oh, he was quite active. In, 19, in, in the 19, but he uh, disappeared. late 1970s and early 1980s. I think this guy might have been in school just after Pug Dog Man disappeared. Yeah, I think, so. he, I think that's true. Yeah. So we have another call no, coming another in. Another call. Here we go. Go ahead, caller. Can you give us your, your first name and your last? <laughs> Oh, hey, Johnny. Oh, hi. 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 Uh, I, think, I think I saw Pug Dog went over here near from Washington up around the high school the other day. Uh, wouldn't surprise Everett. me. He's in Everett? Yeah. Yeah, he was going through some trash cans, and, and he was pulling out some half-eaten pizza, and he was, he was going to town on it. And hmm. then I saw him out back behind an old house, and he was, looked, like he was, looked like he was taking a dump. I'm not sure, Ooh. but I think that's what he was doing. Oh, that's terrible to hear. I, yeah. I hope not. Yeah, he's over here. Yeah, a lot of the train well, lines. Well, I hope he's not over here. That's right. Yeah. I used to go out with a girl. She looked like a dog, but she didn't. She looked like a German Shepherd. Oh, that's fine. Please. Oh, he could have got her a collar. Good. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try some of that. Buy some. Right. Thanks, Go out and buy it. Hey, thanks for calling. Thank you. That was a good call, Ron. That was a good call. And actually, looks like Buck Litter might yeah. might become a popular uh, thing. It's going to be a real popular. Okay. Well, that, I think yeah. we have one more call coming in. Yeah. All right, go ahead, caller. What's your name? Yes, hello. This is Dr. Bob Broomhauser oh, from hi, Doctor. the Breakwater Research Laboratories uh -oh. in Richland, Washington. Uh -oh. Hi, Doctor. We've been, we've been trying to get a hold of Clyde Tranbeth, uh, the person that you call Pug Dogman, for the last 20 years. And we have been able to get a hold of him, but somehow you have access to him. Oh, we yeah. want to know how. Well, he trusts well, we, us. We, he trusts us and he seeked us out. That's, That's not yeah. good enough. We, we really have some questions to ask him, and he would be a valuable asset to some of the research that we are doing. He is oh, a we don't, very interesting no, no person. Way. He and we need does to get not like him. And we will, go, we will go to any means possible to get a hold of him. We just want to let you know that. No, There's no way not. that you're going to have access That's to Clyde. That's the answer we want to hear. Yeah, we will we, not divulge anything. We know where you're located, and we will find you. There's no, you won't. We will get a hold of you won't Clyde find Pug Dog either. We just want to let you know. You have no right to get a hold of Clyde Trent. Yeah, no, no research. No use in going around in circles with me, gentlemen. That, I, I've reached the end of this conversation. I will oh, be in touch with you. My team will be in touch with oh, you. Oh, you good do it. Bye. You, you have, do it. You don't scare us, buddy. And you hang on. up on us now. We, we say bring it on. Bring it on. You're not going to get to us, and you're not no. going to get to Clyde Trenbeth at no, all. No, you can torture us. We won't tell you. There's no way you, that anybody's going to subject no. him to research. We're well, not we're gonna, too trusted. Agree. We're not going to allow that to happen at all. Never. Now we do. We do want to let you know we have oh. one, we have one more thing for you tonight. We yes. have an actual special treat. A special treat. Yes. A one-on-one -on -one interview with Clyde Trenbeth. Exclusive. It's an exclusive interview. Can only show it one time. We can only show it one time. That's all he'll let us do. So uh, go ahead, Leaf. We'd like to. We'd like you to yep. roll that interview now, and uh, and here it comes. <laughs> Just 
This is Ron Bagwell with the 2017 It Is Real investigative team, and I'm here with Clyde Trenbeth, otherwise known as Pug Dogman of Prosser, Washington. How are you doing today, Clyde? I'm doing good. Now, I understand you've been hiding for the last 20 to 30 years. Where have you been? Oh, Prosser, Washington. You've been in Prosser? Yes, yes. Well, how come I've seen pictures of you in Paris? I traveled. The Great Wall of China? I traveled like Shanghai. And it looks like Sequoia National Park. I traveled. Now, I understand some people are after you to do experimentation. I always do the research. Companies are always after me. And that's why, that's why you've been hiding. Muff. Muff. And is this because you resemble a bulldog? Yes. I am like a freak of nature. Do you, do you feel bad that you're considered a freak? No, I'm happy with my, my self-image. And I understand also that you went to Prosser High School, uh, yes. and you actually gra yes. you actually graduated with a 3.5 grade point average. I'm very smart. So you're an intelligent bulldog. Oh, very smart. You don't do you, do you like being called a bulldog? No, I'm not a bulldog. I'm, I'm a human. Okay, you're you're a human with a bulldog face. I'm very yes. sorry. Okay, now I also I also understand that you uh, were the water boy for the volleyball team. What the happiest times of my life! You look like you were happy then. Oh, it was so the course was wonderful. Now, Clyde, we are going to make sure that you that you remain anonymous and that you're under protection. Oof. And we're going to try to get all the help we can for you to make sure that you that you don't have to continue hiding the rest of your life. Thank you, but I like hiding. Well, you like hiding, huh? I am a hider. And you like Alpo dog food? Yes, it's very good. Oh, the meaty, the meaty. The meaty stuff. Okay, well, like to thank you, Clyde, very much for the interview today. Oof. We got to wrap it up. Oof. But we also want to let you know that to stay tuned for our future shows if you do have any access to a oh, TV. Thank you. I'll get to the library. Okay, thank you very much, and, we, and we're going to take care of you, Clyde. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we hope you enjoyed that interview. It was absolutely awesome. amazing. We, that, Just awesome. That we were able to interview Clyde Trenbeth. And, He's such a special guy. And he opened up to us for a couple of minutes there, and, and it, was, it was amazing. Oh, that, it was beautiful. And, and we're going to be in yeah. contact with him more now. Yeah. We, we hope you enjoyed tonight's show. We're, we're, we're being told by our, our producer, Leif, that, that, that we're, to wrap it up. Yep. So we'd like to thank you for tuning in. Thank you. We'd like to let you know about our next show that's coming up, and it's going to be coming up in, in, a, in, a, in a little while. It's it's called, it might take us a few weeks to put that together. It's called the Anacortes Incident, and this is about yeah. an incident that took place up in Anacortes, Washington. We got a call. We got a call. The other day. We actually were provided with some yep. video uh, video clips. One of our viewers. One of our viewers yeah. of some actual sightings of some craft that appeared in the sky up at, in, in Anacortes, Anacortes, Washington. Washington. That to this point cannot be explained. It is not any aircraft that, that is known to, to, to us. No, so be sure to uh, subscribe to our channel That's and then set up your alerts. Set up your alerts, subscribe to our channel. You'll see yep. in the closing of, of how to subscribe to our channel and uh, by all means do that, set up alerts and we'd like to thank you once again for tuning in and remember, it is real. Thank you. Thank you very much, good night. I know. <laughs>